Welcome aboard DMR0718, who just became a member today. Boom, fist bump, baby. I got your back. So you requested a video on how I do my research. So I'd love to answer that for you. So first thing I do, let's take a firm stock, for example. I'm just throwing out a random one, right? That's ticker symbol AFRM. First thing I like to do is go in to Google and just type in, or on Thinkorswim, right, into your watch list, type, type in a firm, A-F-R-M is the ticker symbol. And then I look to see what the price is at. And I look at the chart and I expand it by a good year or two. I usually do, you know, month, year, five years to see where the stock price is at currently versus its historic norms, okay? Is it what, way off its highs? Is it at all-time highs? If I see the stock is at all-time highs, then for me personally, I'm not interested in it because I missed the run to all-time highs. I wanna be in stocks before, right? So it has room to run up to all-time highs, okay? So immediately, I will not play that one. I know some people say, hey, you're gonna miss out on some. That's fine, but that's my selection process and it's worked well, okay? So I'm looking for ones that are undervalued that are not at their highs yet. So a firm, if you look, is not at its all-time highs. If I'm correct, I believe it was a lot higher at one point, okay? But I bought this again a long time ago. Again, this is just an example though, but that's what I'll type in a firm stock. I'll see where the stock price is historically compared to its highs, okay? And if it's still way off its highs, okay, then I'll look in. At the next step I'll do is type in a firm stock valuation, Yahoo, okay? And you can pause this if you wanna hear it again. So I type in, I'll say it one more time for you. So a firm stock valuation Yahoo. This is the site I use. I've done this for years. And you click on the one that says a firm stock, you know, valuation measures, okay? And then click that one. And then it pulls up where it shows you market cap. It shows you price to earnings, price to sales, price to book, okay? So that's what you wanna look at. And it shows you the other quarters too. Each quarter shows you what these numbers were. And so it's great. You can compare them to see if, you know, has their PE ratio gotten higher? Has it gotten lower? What about their price to sales, price to book, right? You can kind of see, and that tells the story of obviously of the stock price too. So I look at that first, make sure these numbers, you know, are, are reasonable and not silly overvalued, okay? And then I move down to the balance sheet. And this is the most important, guys. That's why it's important to, to know what you're looking at with the company's financials. The number one thing most important for me, do they have free cash flow coming in? Positive free cash flow to grow their business. Cash is king right now, and if I see that, then I can look at the rest of the valuation metrics, go through line by line, okay? You can see, so like I said, cash flow, you can see their net income, their revenue, right? Their EPS, ideally I'd like to see good revenue growth, EPS growth, okay? But it's okay if it's not, if they have strong free cash flow, that is the number one, like I said, metric that I look at, okay? But you can look through, it shows all their balance sheet information, you can see even short interest too, percentage short of shares outstanding, okay? So if you're interested in that and like short squeezes that could potentially happen. So you learn a lot, guys, just going into here and looking through that data. And that's how I piece together, do I think this company, you know, is reasonably valued? Does it have a good balance sheet? And is the stock price off of its highs? And then the next thing I do is look up news, guys. Is there fresh news to have a positive catalyst to get the stock to go higher? And if it did just have news dropped, you know, at least within a week, okay, ideally I like to have it within a few days, ideally same day, right? The sooner you see news, the better, the more upside you can get with that stock. Remember that, okay? So I always try to find that for you guys when I recommend, you know, plays for you, okay? But it's got to have some fresh positive news that gives it moment momentum so you have that conviction that you can make some money on it.